Okay, hi students, my name is Reshma Bulani and I have teaching experience for more than 15 years. Before I explain to you the term polynomials, we need to understand some other terms too. Now let's see what are they. First is constant. A symbol having a fixed numerical value is constant. For example, 8 minus 6, 5.4. In other words, these terms are constant means only the numbers, the terms and not the variable. What is the difference between constant and variable? Variable means the letters A, B, C, D, X and so on. Constant means only the terms that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. The second thing is variable. A symbol which may be assigned different numerical values is known as va variable. So 4x, your variable is x, 3 times y, variable is y. Now what is algebraic expression? Algebraic expression is a combination of variables and constant together. Means the, cons the constant term and variable together is termed as algebraic expression. But these algebraic expressions are separated by plus or minus or multiplication or division sign. Now terms of algebraic expression, what is meant by terms of algebraic expression? Several parts of algebraic expression separated by plus or minus operations are called the terms of algebraic expression. For example, 4 plus 9x minus 5x square plus 3 upon 8xy. So this is the first term, this is the second term. This is the third term and this is the fourth term. Now we come to the actual topic polynomials. An algebraic expression in which the variables involved have only one non-negative integral power is called a polynomial. Now let us understand the meaning of non-negative integral power. I will explain to you with the help of the example. For example, 5x cubed minus 4x square plus 6x minus 3 is a polynomial in one variable x. Now see the other example, 2x the power raised to 3 upon 2 plus 4x square plus 5 is not a polynomial but this is a polynomial because its integral power, the power is 3 upon 2 which is a fraction whereas it is a non-negative integral power. It, it, if I take 3 upon 2 it will come in a decimal sign or a fraction. So we cannot take the decimal and a fraction, it has to be a non-negative integral power. So this is termed as polynomial. Now its integral power of x raised to 3 upon 2 is 3 upon 2 and 3 upon 2 is not an integer but it is a fraction.